And he was just pointing that thing at me and said, here, James, say something, you know. And, uh, I always get kind of <laughs> I, I'm the most horrible on camera of anybody you've ever seen, but she photographs good. Uh-uh. If I was for the camera. If you've got sound on, I'm going to announce your new job. <laughs> Fifth, right after his four-day illegal vacation. <laughs> Don't look straight into it, you break. Oh, well, that happened a long time ago. Dog, the dog in your sweater, the same color. Thank you. And the dog... <laughs> Let's show this on the air and show them what it's really like. We'll give this to Robert Earl. For your door. You woke him up, that's the whole problem. Oh, that is. He was asleep. That always looks like it would feel so good. I know. Look at this guy. <laughs> this man is in shape. <coughs> it's obvious this man is a lean, mean fighting machine. I'm so big I can't even fly in a helicopter. <laughs> One of these <coughs> this guy is, has left my home growing roots area and come back to the big city to be on television. And where were you from, sir? Originally. I'm, I'm from, from Hale County I'm and what from community? 30, 32 miles northeast of Demopolis. Havana, Alabama? Havana Junction. Below Moundville? Yes. Where'd you go to well, high school? This is the JB life story. Where'd you go to high school, Akron sir? Akron High School. What year did you graduate? 1915. 1915. 50. Oh, 50. Okay, <laughs> yes. let's get that 1950 is yes. uh, right here. I, yeah. Uh, and uh, who was the best looking girl in your graduating class? None. None. There were only three. <laughs> there were only three girls in my No, there were four girls and three boys in my senior class. That was a whole senior class. We used to get in one car and, and go on field trips. Well, uh, did, was there a football team? Sure. With, yeah. with, with how many guys now in the, we, in the whole school? Did you have 11 guys in the whole school? We were the smallest school in the state of Alabama that filled with a football team in A classification, which is the lowest class, because all other schools would be too small. And every, they only had about 11 guys on the team, and they had to play both ways. Some years they'd have 15 guys out for football. Who was the uh, biggest competitor back in those days? Uh, Moundville. Moundville, just up the road. And then the Akron-Greensboro. Uh, fight was always a big fight. Uh, who was the who was the head cheerleader? See, I'm trying. To, notice he's not mentioning names here. I mean, I'm trying to get him in trouble. The head uh, cheerleader of the year I cheerlead. I mean, the, the year I graduated would be the coach's daughter. Is that right? What was her name? Do you remember? I don't remember her name. I don't remember the coach's name. <laughs> but uh, memorable days back. There were several time. cheerleaders by the name of Payne, P A Y N E. Okay. Anything else you did in school that's worth remembering? I mean, uh, well, you started I, riot in the lunchroom or anything? Yeah. I was I was in the FFA, the Future Farmers of America organization, and a lot of times at the lunch hour, as soon as I would eat lunch, I was in charge of the candy store that the FFA. We well, certainly understand that. FFA uh, had the school allowed the FFA to have a candy store, but they couldn't open it up until 30 minutes after the lunchroom opened for lunch because they were afraid kids would spend their lunch money. For candy. So 30 minutes after the bell rang for lunch, I had to go out and I had to get me through with my lunch by the time and go out and open the candy store and sell candy. <laughs> Nicola Barr. He published a hometown. Oh, she probably won't answer my question. I was going to ask her the best looking girl and her guy. He would sell it for five cents a copy and go knocking on doors up and down the roads, dusty roads, out near Mammal. Uh, did you pro do probing investigative reports, or is this lighter news? Uh, uh, we, we were one of the most we were one of the most aggressive newspapers around in Hale County. Yeah, right? it was the Greensboro yeah. Watchman still there when you were there. The Greensboro Watchman was there, yes. The so County. you were the big competition for the Greensboro <laughs> Watchman. Right. Uh, after four o'clock, though, when that when that uh, 
Greyhound bus about the Birmingham News to the store a mile away. I couldn't make any more sense. <laughs> <laughs> the weather friends all over the United States and they would keep on that data and send yeah. it to him and then he published something called a, the wind bang. Wow. And he mimeograph all those, he compile all their reports and stories and this was still in high school. No, this is this was uh